What's going on guys? Today I want to talk about the book Green Lights by Matthew McConaughey and why I think it's a must read. The reality is I picked up that book and I knew it wasn't going to be boring, but I had no idea it was going to be transformative. I mean, it truly is a top five book and I want to talk about some of the key points and why I think no matter who you are, where you are, what you're doing, it's worth the read. So to start off, why? Well, obviously it's inspirational, which is powerful, right? But when you take inspiration and experience and accolades, you get sort of a blueprint. And then when you take inspiration, experience, and combine it with storytelling, you get this beautiful trifecta that's relatable, that, that you can sort of immerse yourself in and take components and, and put them directly into your life. It truly is a hero's journey. It's about finding yourself and your way in a world that's complex and convoluted. It's about finding meaning, which is why it's called green lights. Right, the idea is green lights are sort of those um, epiphanies we have that take us from point A to point B. Those realizations that get us where we need to go. Um, and you know, he talks about in his own light, the green lights that he's found and how he shifted from living to avoid the red lights to creating green lights in his own life, which just in itself is, is, is such a beautiful metaphor. Are you living to avoid the red or are you carving out a new path? Are you finding a way to get from your point A to your point B? So what I'm gonna do is kind of talk about my favorite key points in the book. And you know, by the way, I won't give any stories away or anything like that. I'll leave that to, to you when you read it. But I wanna talk about some of my favorite concepts, why they're impactful uh, and why I think they'll uh, be helpful to you. So one of the first things he talks about is identity and the, the power of knowing who you are. But before you can do that, you have to know what you are not. You have to push away the things that don't matter so that you can find your way to the things that do. You know, and he talks about his process of, you know, thinking that he wanted to be a lawyer or going to uh, a certain school and then realizing this is not for me, right? And that's just as important as deciding what is because in a way, uh, it's a red light whether you realize it or not. And so getting to the green means pushing that out of the way. So really cool concept. Know what you're not before you can know what you are. Uh, the next line that I thought was cool, or the next idea that I thought was cool, he talks about when he was getting C's in school, it was a heck of a lot more important and, and productive than when he was getting A's. Because he talks about the power of real life experience, of getting out there, right? And in film school, there's sort of this bubble that you know people around or people in school have this idea of the world and he's out you know trying to land gigs and do things he's moving and shaking and sort of you know catching hell from his classmates and his professors and he's like look you know if you just give me c's uh you know we can do both right i'll, I'll come i'll be at school when i need to but i'll spend most of my time doing the real thing because hollywood doesn't care about your grades right none of that stuff matters it's very relatable to all of us in the sense that you know we have this idea of how things should be and we try and you know put this perfect structure in place when in reality the biggest changes happen when we just dive in when we get our hands dirty um, and see what we can make of the world that was one of his biggest realizations stop doing what you feel like you have to do and go out there and, and create momentum yourself Another idea I loved was success takes one in a row. Meaning, you know, we're looking for the big picture. We're looking for the entire project to be completed. We're looking for the top of the mountain. And he's like, look, worry about one win. One win in a row. Because what that turns into is truly a, a, an incredible thing and can change the entire trajectory of your life, right? His first movie role was not what he expected, right? He thought it was gonna be a hobby and it catapulted him into obviously this entire world, this entire career. Um, and that was his focus. That thing right there with very little experience, just confidence that he could get it done and a love of the process. And that's a concept, again, that has nothing to do with acting in particular. Holistically, we could all use that. Focus on one win in a row. How can you take what's in front of you right now and kill it, make the most of it, and see what doors open along the way. Another idea, stop being impressed and start being involved. Meaning nothing in life is bigger than you. We have this idea that there's a right way or these people know what they're doing and we're sort of imposters in the room or in the arena. The reality is 
you're not. You are what you believe you are. And, and when his father passed away, he sort of made that mental shift uh, or found that green light that he was going to step up and, and make that change in his life. He says, you are made for the moment. Whatever you decide to make of that moment, whether you want to be the predator or the prey, it's almost like a, a choose your own ending book. And where you decide to go, you are capable of, of going that way and not only surviving, but exceeding expectations. You were built for it, you were made for it. The question is, um, what are you going to choose? All right, another quote I love. He says, some people want the AC on in the gym so they won't sweat. I wear my beanie in July so that I will. Great motif throughout the entire book. I mean, he creates this uh, you know, self-induced hell for himself over and over and over again so that he can come out on top, bigger, stronger, better. Um, you know, one example being his refusal to go back into the rom-com world to earn that easy money, a decline of $14.5 million offer because he knew what was on the other side. When you realize that the cave you fear holds a treasure you seek or where you least want to look is what you most need, you start to realize that things open up for you. Um, you just have to be willing to wear that beanie in July uh, because that's where the answers are. And lastly, I'm gonna leave you with my favorite quote. He says, the man I hope to be and the man I am sleep in the same bed at night. Right? So he knows that he's moving towards something. He believes in what he is and he knows that it can evolve into something better, right? Who he wants to be and who he is is the same exact entity, it just hasn't happened yet. And this book is about making it happen. Green lights are about making that happen. Getting to the person you hope to be um, by not living to avoid the red light, not playing by the rules, but breaking them in a methodical way, creating your own world, your own reality, and, and, and not being a victim, right? This, is, this book is about uh, taking control of your life and just the, the, the beauty and the excitement and the opportunity that that provides. So I hope you got something from this. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I'm sure you will too. Again, Green Lights by Matthew McConaughey. And uh, let me know in the, the comments below if you've read it and what you think about it. And I'll talk to you soon.